<clears throat> this is uh, an interesting one. It's called Exercise Associated Hyponatremia, or EAH. And uh, it's happening more and more, especially with this uh, long marathons and races and all those kinds of things that are going on. But also happens in military exercise training or cross country, that happens for prolonged times. So anything more than four or five hours of uh, continuous exercise can induce a syndrome. And uh, during uh, a heavy exercise for four, five, six hours, you should lose about three to four percent of your body weight. So the people who are most predisposed to this exercise associated hyponatremia are the ones that are either uh, the same way to actually gain weight during the heavy exercise. Why do they gain weight? Because of overhydration. This is the major precipitant to exercise induced um, hyponatremia. And it can be dangerous. It's kind of like a bad thing. Uh, most of the symptoms can be just confusion. Some can have alter metal status, but it can go into seizures, encephalopathy, even brain swelling and edema, and ultimately to death. There's been death related to heavy exercise. So it's not just like a heat stroke or um, a heat related illness or exhaustion, but actually hyponatremia is far more common than people think because um, once they started identifying the disorder, they started doing randomized trials in the Boston Marathon and they followed 500 racers till the end. It's more common in females rather than males because females tend to follow more the instructions of, you gotta make sure you hydrate, you gotta make sure you hydrate. And during this heavy exercise, you, you should lose weight. You should lose water. And the problem is overhydration with water then dilutes you and then you end up um, lowering your sodium. Anything less than 135 is significant. Anything less than 132 is severe hyponatremia. And again, can be as severe as cerebral edema, nausea, vomiting, feet, um, alter metal status, things like that. But it could be also malconfusion, dizziness, lightheadedness, and things like that. Um, cure for it is drinking Gatorade, right? Because it has uh, electrolytes or it has some kind of electrolyte solution. The answer is no. It's about the same incidence with either one. It's not really that you're not replenishing your sodium. It's a matter that you're drinking too much plain water. So yeah, the body is supposed to adjust, supposed to lose, but the fact that you're drinking too much water, and this is in excess of one to one and a half liters during those four or five hours of exercise. That's it. Thank you. Thanks.